Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Akhil Bigbal and here we discuss about options trading chart analysis. Today we'll talk about as usual we'll talk about yesterday's trade how did it go then we'll talk about today's chart analysis and what kind of trade I'm expecting for tomorrow's contract. So let's begin with yesterday's trade. Yesterday we discussed about taking a short strangle position if you remember so the short strangle we discussed was 21,750 on the call side and 20,000 on the put side if you ended to this position right now your profit will be at $18 and towards the day I saw the profit was roughly about $15 this is minimum contracts okay minimum number of contracts as I recommend was 200 contracts which we require very little amount of capital but if you trade with 400 or 500 you must have made a good amount of profit as well I hope you guys uh, learn something new in this uh, video and also you must have entered into option selling not on the expiry day a day before and earn more profit than on an expiry day okay so let's jump right into today's content today's chart analysis so we'll go to a one hour chart as you can see market is trending up it is making uh, higher lows and higher highs and it is going right up so as we discussed market was trading in this particular range right so yesterday also we discussed that market will be trading between 2400 as well as 21400 market is playing within this 1000 range for uh, roughly about three days uh, uh, to be honest so uh, what does it mean that means this is a very important zone right so we will i don't expect the market to break this particular zone today or for the next day trade so i recommend you guys to enter into a similar kind of a option selling trade as well because saturday sunday as we discuss we do option selling so let's let's discuss the same trade if we want to do option selling so what will be our positions let's look into 15 minutes chart pattern so if i look in the 15 minutes chart pattern sorry okay so if i look in the 15 minutes chart pattern as you can see market is trending i mean uh, trading between um, this particular range so what we will do we will look for support as well as we look for resistance as usual so let's look on the top side which is at the call side which is a good number so same resistance is at 21700 but that will be too close and uh, it will be a very risky position we will not take a risky position we will take in the top side at least 1000 point above or at least minimum of 750 i would recommend you guys to go for 1000 so right now it's at 21 21100 so 22 22200 or 22000 will be our uh, call side option which we are going to sell and in the put side uh, the call option that we're going to sell would be about 20,000 or 2200 this will be the safe option 20,000 is also okay because 2400 is a really good uh, support for uh, for Bitcoin so what we'll do we are going to go to the Delta exchange platform and we're going to see what is the current uh, please don't look at my long position I'll discuss about my trade what why I took that trade and things like that uh, later on uh, but uh, let's discuss on uh, tomorrow's trade which we are recommending right now so if you look at 20,000 20,000 is trading at uh, on the call uh, on the top side 22 uh, 20,000 on the call side options is trading at 21 dollar okay and on the put side if you look at the 22,000 which we want to trade is trading about 36 dollar as you can see market uh, on the put side the premium is uh, much higher than in the call side even though the market has uh, market is trending up so today the market is slightly uh, uh, coming down is in a bearish slow bearish mode that's why it's a premium is built up is on the call side not on the put side okay i hope you guys understand on that part so let's uh, discuss on our trade that uh, trade strategy which we discussed yesterday so if we take this particular trade the profit that we're going to make will be very limited why because the premium is only at $20 $30 right so let's look at tomorrow's exactly like this uh, the trade that we took yesterday so we are going to take the tomorrow's trade um, tomorrow sorry we're gonna uh, trade on tomorrow's contract on the same strike price so le let's look at 20,000 as you can see on the 20,000 strike price the premium is at $80 as well as in 22,000 the strike um, on the strike price the premium is trading about sorry something is wrong delta exchange let's see it's about $120 so $120 and $80 roughly about 
is the premium that we, we can collect when we are going to enter the trip. But are we going to hold it till $200? No. As I discussed, you can book the profit when the premium decayed to 70%, 60%, it's up to you. I usually close the trade at 60%. When the premium decays at 60%, I book my profit and I go out. But if you want to hold it till 70%, it's up to you. But don't hold more than that, as I said all, all the, uh, always. Okay. So you can enter these two trades, 22,000. You can sell. So what you'll do, you'll do option selling. You choose 50x leverage. You'll do is a 50x leverage. And what you can do is uh, look for the price. Okay. Thing, yeah. Okay, okay. Now it's 50x. So let's say um let's say i want to trade on uh, 100 contracts here i'm not gonna enter the trade for option selling but i'm just uh, sharing with you guys on my view so if let's say 70 percentage dk you want to book the profit so you put like this you'll be roughly making about eight to ten dollars in one side if you are entering 100 contract so if you are entering 200 contract 300 contract, 400 contract or 500 contract you just multiply with the number then you'll understand what's the profit that you can get I'm talking about the very minimum amount. If let's say if you're trading with just 100 US dollar uh, or 100 USDT, sorry, USDT, then $50 you can put in one position, $50, 50% one position, and 50% another position, and you can enter this particular trade. And roughly you'll be making about $16 or $20 when the premium gets decayed at 70%. I'm not, as I said, we are not going to hold this position for a longer period of time. And always we will put the our stop loss at 150. So when I said uh, stop loss is at 150, that means, uh, sorry, so stop loss would be uh, 150, so it will be 250. So roughly about, uh, roughly about, what well, this is 100, 120 percentage, but it's okay, because we don't want to take more risk uh, on this particular trade. So at the money is at 350 right now and uh, we're not gonna put 350 over here for sure uh, we maybe 275 275 seems good 275 we'll put 275 so we are willing to take a risk of 15 dollar to make a eight dollar this is how we, i trade when i take option selling the risk is more that why we want to because the probability is in in our side and also time decay theta decay is also in our side so we just need to be patient don't have to keep looking at this trade because you ended option selling you can just enter the trade and go for sleep or whatsoever whatever you are doing uh, you can just check after eight hours or 12 hours the either the one because you're gonna enter two legs right if one leg is already hit the loss of 15 then the another leg would be hitting the profit of eight dollar already then you would lose only eight dollars but if you would have win then in the both position you would make eight plus eight sixteen dollars I hope you understand you're not gonna lose $15 don't worry because another leg you're gonna make the profit okay so this is uh, how you take option uh, selling short strangle position on a weekend you take the trade of the next day contract so the premium will be high and the next day after 12 hours after 12 hours of the let the contract run for 12 hours when the contract is about to expire for uh, 12 hours or something like that you can close the trade this is how I trade on a saturday sunday and this is an option selling strategy safe safe strategy for you guys to do and if you back test this strategy if you can just go back and just check this data if you are able to if you are able to back test this you will understand entire weekend all this time bitcoin has moved more than 2000 is very rarely the highest point and the lowest point of bitcoin uh, has moved above 2000 just less than four uh, I would say less than four times in this entire entire year entire calendar year on a weekend Bitcoin has moved more than 2000 points uh, from the lowest point to the highest point is very rare only less than four times so definitely you will be profitable if you are entering this particular trade so I hope you guys understand about the positions and the option selling since we are discussing about the same strategy or uh, for the past two days I hope you guys understand if you guys want me to do this particular video on how to use this strategy step by step i can help you guys as well do let me know in the comment section now let's discuss about the trade which i took i know most of you must be wondering what kind of trade is it he ended into a long position he i was talking about more on the option selling now but 
I have entered an option buying position. Why I entered an option buying position? I wouldn't recommend you guys to enter the option buying position. Um, why? Because the way I enter the trade and everything, I and I deploy very less capital. As you can see, I deployed only 100 quantity because as I said, my loss has already, I mean, loss uh, limit I keep for a particular month has already reached, but still I'm trading. But as you can see, my position sizing is very low, right? My portion sizing is just a 25 percentage of uh, what I used to trade. So I'm going to try like this. So my loss will be limited as well. So I have put a stop loss also. As you can see, my stop loss is at a uh, particular uh, strike price, uh, sorry, uh, premium uh, premium price. And also my take profit is also at a particular price. So um, this is a particular strategy I'm um, back testing. I'm trying out. I'm gonna try with a small amount of capital because I'm trying out a new strategy. I'll definitely let you guys know uh, if this is working really well and things like that and you will know for sure because I'm trading on a day to day basis and I'm putting out videos for this. So definitely you will know on the uh, result of this particular uh, strategy. So let's jump right into my conviction of why I entered into a put side. So as you can see in the five minutes chart pattern or let's look in the uh, Let's look in the 15 minute chart pattern. If you look in the 15 minute chart pattern, uh, the moment Bitcoin reached over here, market reached over here, market did a, a retracement back and it came down to this particular level, which is uh, 2900, then it came back up, went and break yesterday's high, and then it hit the resistance one and it made the reversal over here. So if you know my trading style, you already know this is one of my favorite setup, right? The false breakout i always tell you guys when an important position when market is breaking a very important level so as you can see the market break this particular level which is a very important level market break this particular level and i was expecting the market to make a reversal why because i know that most of the most of the retail traders what they do is they'll try to jump into this position to get maximum profit and what happens it will be a false breakout and market will retrace back to the uh, nearest support at the bottom level so this was my view so the moment it was uh, a breakout I was expecting the market to make a reversal just like what it did yesterday so I was expecting the same kind of move yes market made this stop came back and break this uh, yesterday's high okay from the downside the moment it uh, break the yesterday's high and when it came down with the red candle, I entered into a position already. So I already entered into a position. I bought and at the money, put option. You know my trading style. I already I always tell you guys. So I bought and at the money, put option. Right now, um, right now it is uh, trading about. I entered into 300. At that time, the, the strike price was uh, at the money strike price was around 300 because I entered the trade. As you know, I entered the trade uh, way before the contract opened itself. Why? Because as, as you all know, based on my view, uh, if uh, I'm not going to trade on that particular day because the contract will expire in less than eight hours. Why would I enter? Why would I risk like that? If I'm going to enter into a trade, I will trade for the next day. So that's why the premium was quite high. So I paid that the money at 302, but it's okay. Right now it's uh, running about 57 percentage profit of my deployed capital and my profit I'll book at 150 percentage of my deployed capital and my SL I put at uh, 50 percentage of my deployed capital so if the, my position or my view is going wrong and the market is going to retrace back then my SL will hit when my premium DK is 50 percentage of my deployed capital and also if the market is going in my view right now according to it it's on my view already I'm 57 percentage up if I'm 100 percentage above up, I'll start trailing my stop loss I'll start trailing my stop loss all the way but if uh, I'm not if I'm not going to monitor this I'll keep it as the same which is at 150 percentage so I'll let you guys know more about this uh, new strategy which I'm trying out that's why I'm deploying very low amount of capital just want to try out and see how it goes because usually you know I will never put stop loss I, I usually give the money whichever I bring to the market either to the market or I take take from the market right now I'm trying out new one with some SL, SLS uh, take profit. Usually, you know, so I, I I don't book the profit. I usually let it run. But now I already put a system 
take profit as well as a system stop loss let's see how it goes and how the strategy is working out i'll definitely let you guys know tomorrow i'll update you guys on this particular trade i take and also i would uh, love to see how was the trade that we just discussed uh, the about the option selling so guys that's it about uh, today's uh, trade i hope you guys uh, have a profitable day trade safe and i see you guys tomorrow